glad to talk to you. Hey extremists, I'm Latasha. I'm your mother of rock for xradio.com. I hope your Thanksgiving was fabulous and I hope that you're still having to wear stretchy pants from how much turkey you ate. Uh, last week Guns N' Roses bassist Dizzy Reed said there were no plans for a new GNR album anytime soon, but frontman Axl Rose has countered Reed's statement by saying he has not one but three albums up his sleeve. The one thing GNR fans seem to all agree on is that they are rocking at all of their concerts and they're just killing it on this tour. And I tend to agree with that. Rumors continue to circulate that Chickenfoot and Van Halen will tour together next year. It's a damn good rumor at this point, but nothing solid so far. No, <laughs> it's fun. totally wrong. Totally wrong. Red Hot Chili Peppers frontman Anthony Kiedis uh, credits becoming a dad to his huge success. He said ever since he became a father, he has sobered up and cleaned it up and uh, changed his ways. You can see the Peppers' latest video for Monarchy of Roses um, on Axe TV, and I have to tell you, it's probably one of the best rock videos I have seen in a really long time. Oh. No, Flea isn't just wearing the tube sock either. Rolling Stone Magazine uh, has listed their top 100 Axemen of all time. Coming in at number five is Jeff Beck. Coming in at number four is Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. Number three, Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin. Number two, Eric Clapton. And uh, number one Axemen of all time is Jimi Hendrix. You can check out Axe Radio's top Axemen of all time on the Axe blog now at axeradio.com. There's a lot of wonderful guitar players, and I'm really surprised that Eric Clapton's in there. I mean, he's good, right? Okay. Just in time for Christmas, Slash has released a new live CD DVD package called Made in Stoke 24711. That's going to be a gift for any hardcore Axe lover. Uh, and speaking of Christmas, the Scott Wheatland album, um, The Most Wonderful Time of Year, it's wonderful. Just saying it all over again. Former Kiss Axe... <laughs> Former Kiss Axe man, Ace Freely's new book, No Regrets, a rock and roll memoir, de debuted <laughs> on the top of the... T oh, Lord. I can't believe you just said that. I know, Kiss Axe. Man, I almost said kiss ass, huh? I just did. <laughs> okay. Hi. Former kiss axe man, Ace Freely. See, I didn't say kiss ass that time. No Regrets, a rock and roll memoir, debuted on the top of the New York, top ten of the New York Times bestseller lists. Congratulations, Ace. My word, brain. Talking, not working. What? Man on the membrane. Insane in the membrane? Oh. Is that right? Who sings that? And now if you are a Doors fan, which I am, Jim Morrison lives again, as you can now pick up a remastered copy of the Doors 1971 classic album, L.A. Woman. The disc also features several bonus tracks and lots of noticeable changes from the original album. I'm wearing my John Lennon shirt today because this week marks the week that he performed in his last big concert at Madison Square Garden with Elton John, I believe it was back in 1974, he made a promise to Elton John that if his song, Whatever Gets You Through the Night, makes it um, to the U.S. top 10, I think it was, that he would perform with Elton John. He kept his word, and he did it. By the way, Elton John does um, harmony and backup piano on that song. Huge Beatles fan. All right, so that's a wrap, and that's this week's Rock Report. I'm Latasha. I'm your mother of rock for xradio.com. Go out and rock your world with hope, because that's your job as a human being. You can make a difference just by doing something little. It's true. Uh, and go get your rock on at xradio.com. And she's just not the mother of rock. She's my mother, too. <laughs>